Good Morning Florida Keys is celebrating its one year anniversary this month. So in honor of this special occasion, I'm going to be talking with the man who's given me the opportunity to host the show. He's also the man who has started up WEYW TV. Rick Belizzi is the general manager of the station. It was his vision to bring Channel 19 to the Keys in June of 2011. Now he wanted the culture and all the incredible businesses, organizations, and people down here in the Keys to be showcased. Rick, thank you for thank being you for here having with me on. today. After uh, two years of being broadcasting here in the Florida Keys and your mm -hmm. show for uh, a year now, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going a lot of places here in the near future. Yeah. Now, Rick, as I mentioned, you brought this station to Key West because you really wanted to be able to showcase the lifestyle down here in the Keys. Why did you feel it was so important though to have a TV station here? Uh, because we weren't being represented by the TV stations in Miami. Uh, there's uh, 22 stations in the Miami area and they focus on uh, Dade and Broward County. Uh, no, nobody was really focusing on the Florida Keys because we're 150 miles from the mainland. And uh, there's a lot of things that are going on here uh, culture-wise, arts and festivals and all the different things that people don't see uh, being on the mainland. Uh, we have beautiful waters. Anything south of Key Biscayne, the waters are beautiful. And uh, people need to see that. A lot of people live up there in Dayton Broward, six million people. And uh, I wanted to get that out to the people so we could help tourism down to the Florida Keys here. Great. Now, we obviously have Good Morning Florida Keys. I, I do this show throughout the week. And there's also a number of other local shows that we produce that do do what you're talking about, and that's showcasing the keys. How else can this station really help the community, Rick? Well, because we're seen in Dade and Broward County all the way up to Boca Raton uh, to um, a little over 350,000 homes at this current time. Um, we're in the keys, we are, we're only about 55,000 households, and in Dade and Broward, uh, 1.6 million. If we can get some of those people to uh, see what's happening down in the Keys, showcase what's happening down here, and get them to travel down here helps tourism, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, helps um, all the businesses here in turn. Uh, it's like uh, instead of just advertising one business, we're showcasing the whole county, uh, and we're doing that with the station. And what would you say is your vision for growth? Well, um, we're growing towards Miami uh, and uh, Fort Lauderdale. Um, but we still want to showcase the Florida Keys. Um, there's a 22 stations in Miami that are already doing that. They're doing a great job. They're covering the news up there. They're covering uh, the lifestyle. We want to cover uh, things here in the Florida Keys, but we also want to cover shows in, in Miami. Uh, the stations in Miami don't cover shows. They don't produce shows. Uh, they show uh, network advertising, uh, network programming that comes in from like ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, the CW Network, and the ION. All those networks, they get the network feed. What we want to do is go up there in Miami and create shows. And uh, that's our future uh, growth in, into Miami area to do that. Great. But still, of course, we have our base right here in yes. Key West. Uh, there's two other stations that are uh, based here in Key West. Uh, they moved their studios to Miami. They're Spanish stations. Uh, one of them just became a Mundo Fox affiliate. Um, and, uh, and they focus on Dade and Broward County. Uh, we want to focus on the Florida Keys. Uh, Cuba should be opening up here shortly. Uh, of course, uh, Cuba. Uh, will be um, people once Cuba does open up there'll be traffic between uh, the Key West and Cuba. Uh, air traffic, uh, our airport is getting uh, uh, designed and about ready to open to have tra uh, air, air traffic to Cuba. Mm -hmm. Well hopefully that happens here soon. We'll, we'll yes. definitely keep po people posted here on the station. Now Rick another thing that WEYW does is it broadcasts not just on television also online and that's really where television seems to be moving to. Yes, I saw that coming. Um, being in the cellular phone in, uh, business in 1996, launching Nextel in, uh, in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, uh, you know, and then Metro PCS in 2002, and being in the industry where the device, you can watch your uh, programming on your, your cell phone. Um, the cell phone's just not a telephone anymore. You can watch television on it and so forth. It's going to your TV, it's going to your computer. So television is going to the internet. And we were one of the first TV stations in the country um, to broadcast on the internet while we're broadcasting on, on over the air to the cable system. And uh, because of that, we've got more viewers watching worldwide than we do locally in South Florida. Well, how's that? Because the internet is worldwide. Uh, we're connected to 350,000 homes. That's all we're connected to in South Florida. The internet 
well, is, the, is the world. Mm -hmm. Anybody that has the internet can watch it. So how do we promote that? We use our TV station to promote our website using our advertising source, television, to promote our, promote our website. We also use Facebook. Um, we have 13,000 people on our Facebook account. So we send out broadcast messages on a Facebook account to watch it on the internet. And as people travel to the Florida Keys, they see, uh, watch us on www.wew19.com, uh, uh, they, they, they go home and they want to see the programming at home, they're able to do that. Mm -hmm. Where uh, conventional television, you can't do that. Once you leave your, your uh, uh, market area, uh, you can't watch the local television station anymore. And mm -hmm. a lot of TV stations now uh, around the country are contacting us and wanting to know how that's done. Yeah. Well, it's great because tourists who come down here, they, they don't have to stop watching our station once they leave the Keys. Like you mentioned, they can watch wherever they are, whether it's in Maine or California. Right. I had a viewer call us up uh, the other day on my way home, and uh, he said, you're off the air. I said, well, what are we, not on uh, Comcast or UVerse? He said, no, you're not on the Internet. And I said, mm -hmm. wow, where are you watching from? Uh, San Diego, California. I said, wow, uh, that's amazing. Uh, so you're watching us on, uh, on a computer? He said, no, I'm watching on the phone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of course, I had to get us back up on the air on the Internet so mm -hmm. that people can continue watching us on the Internet. Great. So being shown here on Channel 19, you also have the chance of not just being watched here in the Keys, but being watched worldwide. And Rick, I know that there's still opportunities for many people who might have a show that they want produced or to be shown. We can air it on yes. our station. It doesn't matter where it's produced in the country. We can air it here locally. Uh, it will be seen worldwide on the Internet. Um, again, television is going the world uh, to the Internet. And uh, what we do is uh, we've got uh, about 150,000 views a month mm -hmm. on, our, on, our, um, on our website. And what we can do is we can traffic how much they watch, how long they watch, from what country they're watching, from which, what county. And uh, those are the things that television can't give you. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, if you want your business to be shown here or you have a show that you've already produced that you want to be seen here on Channel 19. Just check out our website. All of the contact information is on there, and I know Rick would be happy to assist you. Rick, thank you for being on this morning with me. You're welcome. I'm going to take a quick break. There's still more to come this morning, so stay with me.